Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome back to another episode of Extra Life. I hope you guys are ready. I'm really getting into this game. I hope you are as well. Let's go. All right. So what I can do now, uh, let's see. All right, I guess I got to meet Asami at the park and then we'll go from there. Mm. She's not going to be happy. Like Minato is not interested at all. But I mean, what can you do? What can you do? Ben. Come on, tell me how it went. At least I hope you were subtle. What's with the face? Oh, I see. The news isn't good, right? Not really, no. I'm sorry. I want to know. What did he say? Huh? Please, I need to hear it. I've been waiting for this for years. The truth will probably help me move on. If you want. Okay, I told him I was interested in you. And if it would bother him if I became close to you. He... He simply said that he didn't care and that he already had someone anyway. He said it like that? Are you sure? I need to hear the truth, no matter how hurtful it is. Um, okay. He said that he didn't care about an ugly girl like you and that tomboys aren't really his thing. I'm sorry you had to learn it that way. I... Shut up now. But... Go away. Hmm. I don't know what I was expecting in the end. Her reaction was predictable. Well, what do I do now? I might as well go back home. Tomorrow's another day. I guess there's not really much you can do. <laughs> May as well go to sleep. May as well. I guess that's it for the day. Well, what a day. I wonder if... Ben, wait. Oh, I thought you didn't want to talk to me anymore. I I know what I said, and, and I'm sorry. I thought I was strong enough to hear the truth. I, I didn't want to break down in tears in front of you. I understand. Don't worry. So what are you going to do now? I don't really know. I've spent so much time hoping. Just to be humiliated in the end. But honestly, what was I expecting? He doesn't like the kind of girl that I am. Well, don't be too harsh on yourself. If he's not attracted to you, well, well, that's just sad, but at least now you know. You won't live waiting for something that won't happen. You're free to move on now. And that's a good thing, don't you think? I know, but what do I do with what I was feeling and what I'm still feeling for him? Those feelings, I, I've been having them for so long. They won't disappear overnight. What if, what if you helped me? Help? But how? I want to move on, but I still have feelings for him. And I'm incredibly mad at him for not having told me that nothing would ever happen between us. I'd like to make him regret what he said. To make him jealous. I just want to show him what he lost. And what he could have had. Huh? I don't think this is a good idea. Please, Ben. Become my boyfriend and help me become a woman he'll regret having ignored. Um... I, I, okay, I guess. I guess how could I refuse? I think it's in my wheelhouse. Oh, thanks. How do you want to start? Well, what's the kind of girl that Minato likes? He did say he had someone, right? Good question. I've never seen her before either. I'll need to talk to him to learn a bit more about it. He's hiding way too many things. Keep me informed. And in the meantime, I need to remake my wardrobe. Operation... You will die of jealousy, Minato started. Okay, not exactly what I expected her character to be like, but um, I, it is what it is. We're going forward with it. So now I've got her pretending to be her boyfriend, and there's some other people I'm trying to do favors for. So it looks like Ben's task list is going to start getting just stacked up. We're going to have a lot of things to do. In any case, it's more like Operation Mega Buffer. Well, if she has fun doing it, and if I can take advantage of it, <laughs> I guess it'll be okay. After all, she's the one who proposed it. 
Uh, all right, it's night time. What am I gonna do now? I, I need to. I need to find Monado's girlfriend. Oh, I start work tomorrow. I'm gonna get some. Oh, hey, whoa, it's, it's, it's Noriko. Are you kidding me? She's the second girl coming to see you. What did you do to them? You blackmailed them. Am I right? I'm sure that a pervert like you did something suspicious. Is it too hard to think that maybe they were here simply because they appreciate me? Psh, don't make me laugh. Don't forget that in the eyes of the whole high school, you're still a piece of trash. Things aren't going to change because you started running or... I don't know what stupidity. People don't change. Okay, great conversation. Shut up. Weird. Weird girl. All right, well, let's summarize a bit about what happened these past few days. All right, the physical training with Makuma seems well underway. Noriko is more and more out of control, but that's fucking exciting. I wonder how far she'll be ready to go next time. Yasuka works as a hostess, and I'll be able to earn some money as well. Together, we'll repay all those debts faster. So sad that Noriko doesn't do the same. Sami wants to use me to make Minato jealous. I could have refused, but I didn't. Uh, if she wants that much, there's no reason for me not to take advantage of it as well. Alright, and Sakia helped me win that job. Will I be able to help her? And more importantly, will I make the right choices? Fuck, my new life is so much more interesting. I really hope things will continue going that way. Next is the dojo. I need to find a way to join it. I absolutely need to learn to defend myself alone without having to count on Minato to cut corners. Tomorrow's another day. All right, sure is. Oh, today's the first day at the restaurant. We gotta go work, so immediately straight to work. Here we go. Wait a second, I can't show up like that for my first day at the restaurant. I should stop by the bathroom. Oh, okay, all right. It should be enough and... Hey, what the fuck? My eyes, they're golden. The hell is this? As far as I remember, they've always been brown. Could it have something to do with my reincarnation? Uh, I need to be sure. What am I, what am I gonna do? All right, I, I, I guess I need to ask Noriko. So we're gonna knock on her door. Oh look. She actually looks like halfway like a decent human being. She's, she doesn't look angry, I should say. Well, let's see what happens when I start talking to her. Immediately angry looking. Noriko, I need you right now. Fuck. Can't you knock before airing like everyone else? I, I don't care, actually. What color are my eyes? What? Noriko, just answer me. What color are my eyes? Hazel, you have hazel eyes. Thanks, Noriko. Wait, I... What? No, never mind. Hold on. So this is all true. I'm the only one who can see it. I don't think I saw any significant change in me. No power or other ability that could be unordinary. At least, not at first sight. We'll see over time. I need to hurry to the restaurant. I'll be fired if I'm late on my first day. All right. From now on, you can continue Asami's story and come back to the main storyline whenever you want. You choose to corrupt her. I don't really get it, but okay. All right. Hey, Ben. Ready for your first day? Yeah, I was waiting for this impatiently. It's good to see that you're motivated. You'll need that. My father is always in a bad mood, even if he has no reason to be. But he has a good soul. If you make the effort, he'll treat you better. I see. I should be on my best behavior. Let's do our best together. All right, let's talk to the boss. Well, kid, we got off on the wrong foot. My daughter explained to me your goals. And even if I don't believe a single word of it, I still need one more person to help me manage this restaurant. I'll be harsh with you. Okay. Is there a but? Nope. Apologies are for shitbags. Oh, <laughs> okay. Work until you pass out from exhaustion and you'll go up the ladder little by little. 
And one day, maybe, and I mean maybe, if you prove yourself, I'll make you my apprentice. And a hundred years later, I'll be dead. You'll be able to take over the restaurant. I rarely ever heard a proposal so generous. That's only if you prove yourself and I decide that you're a deserving person. In the meantime, there are toilets which need to be unclogged and cleaned. They've been out of order for weeks. I understand. Trust me. In the end, they'll be so clean, we will even be able to eat off of them. Oh, you're like that kid. Good. At the end of the day, you'll eat off the toilets. Is he joking? Fuck, I can't see with this beard. One last thing. It's forbidden to hang around my daughter. Else I'd decrease your salary every single time. Time to work. All right, hold on. All right, that's crazy. I can't hang out with his daughter. <laughs> For the first day, Ben made the toilet shine as if there was no tomorrow. A few hours later, let's see what happens. I'm done, Chief. I think you'll be satisfied. Can we eat off it? Absolutely. It's so clean we could even eat from inside it. Perfect, kid. Wait for me here. Um. Was your first day okay? Yeah, I gave it a mile to satisfy him. I even told him it's so clean we could eat off of it. You, you really told him that? Yeah, why? Oh, Ben, you shouldn't have. Uh, you're starting to worry me. All right, kid. Everything's ready. Follow me. That's upsetting. What the hell is that? Kid, there's something I never joke with, and that's my word. If you had such a bold claim, you have to back it up. That's what marks the value of a man. Staying true to your word. So, now you have the choice. You eat from the toilets you just cleaned, or you get out of here. Dad, stop this. You can't ask something like that. Silence. A man must keep his promises, or he's just a kid. And I don't want a kid to work in this restaurant. You're so stubborn. It's always the same with you. Ben, don't listen to him. You don't have to do that. A man never regrets his decisions. I'm the one who spent hours cleaning everything. I know I did a good job. Oh, fuck it. I never saw anything so disgusting. I know I told you a man should stick to his word, but you also have to know your limits. That's really awful. I just might puke. But you're the one who... You're the one who puts yourself in this position, kid. Never say things you could regret. Fuck, I am going to kill him. I'll make him eat his beard. Dad, you're really the worst. You're the one who pushed him to do it. Okay, all right. I wanted to know what you're made of, and it looks like you really do put your money where your mouth is. I'll give you something extra. Huh, at least I didn't do this for nothing. Come on, take this and get lost. Thanks, Chef. Did he, what, I don't know what he, what he gave me. Anyway, I guess that's it for work. Thank you again for your work. In the end, I'm the one who should be thanking you. It's because of you that I even got this job in the end. You're the first one that was willing to stay for more than one day. The others got discouraged really fast. Well, it's true that I didn't expect to be taken so seriously, but, you know, now I know better. Anyway, when you want us, um, I mean, to start, I don't think I understand what you're asking me. You wanted to become a porn star. I'm sorry, Ben, but I really don't know what you're talking about. What the hell? Did I dream it all up or something? But that's what we talked about the other night, and I have to go. I can hear my father calling for me. See you later, Ben. Seriously? I don't know what to think in the end. Did I dream the whole porn star thing? Anyway, the most important thing is that I got a job, and I'll be able to help Yasuka pay off her loans for the house. So I guess that's it. Probably just keeps changing her mind. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. I I'm, I believe we're pretty much at the point where the game won't uh, 
progress any further but we'll see we'll see and maybe i'm wrong i don't know anyway if you guys like the video you know what to do smack that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already check out the links in the description if you want to further support the channel and i'll see you guys later bye bye